So I'm Luca Dell'Amico from the University of Padova, Italy. So it's in the northeast of Italy. It's one of the oldest university we have in the country and also around the globe. So it was founded in 1222. And yeah, my group is interested in developing new chemistry. And now today we are here to celebrate chemical science. So it's a great day for us also. So in this project, we were uh, interested in trying to install oxetins into biological active molecules. And we started looking at indoles, which, is, which are present in many biological active compounds. So, and we thought to use this, the, the Paternobuki reaction, which is a very old um, historical uh, photo, photochemical reaction, and to somehow give it new life, because as been always reported, we are using UV lights, and our approach was more, let's say, sustainable using visible lights. And yeah, and in the end, we start to investigate how to, how to perform this reaction, and it was a long way to optimize the process, but then, yeah, we came out with a solution, which was the use of visible light, yeah. Yeah, actually, after we published with Chemical Science, we had a couple of follow-up papers. We also applied the same methodology to oxindoles, which are another class of uh, biological active molecules. And recently, we are studying the mechanism more in details, so we were able to control the stereoselectivity of the process by switching the light source, by changing the, the wavelength that we apply, and this also was a very important finding for us because we can get through different biological active molecules, one or the other, their steroids are just changing the, the light source. Yeah, the, the, the chemistry was led like actually by my PhD student was uh, Javier, now he's working in Germany, he's from Spain. And also, well, of course, me and, and uh, an Italian master student, a Mexican postdoc was with us, Alberto Vega. Now he's working in Poland in a pharma company. So yeah, it was a really diversified team. I think this one of, was one of the key of the success of the research. Yeah, we choose chemical science because it's one of the most important journals in organic chemistry and synthesis, is what we are doing. It's one of the most read journals, and of course also it's important that to have a fast publication process, and we know that this we can count on chemical science, for example. And indeed, I mean, the paper was published very fast and also available to the community in a, in a very short time and without paying the fee of open access. This is also another great point of chemical science.